So now I need a motion for the omnibus. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? All right, motion carries. And so we'll jump down, and the first item up is finance. Uh, Trustee Jerry Daly is going to lead us in a review of the draft budget for 2016-2017. Take it away, Jerry. We're in the dark, so we can't afford to pay the bills. Uh, <laughs> as Linda said in her letter to us today, this was the hardest budget that she had to work on since she's been in office this time for me to win. As you'll see in a few minutes, it was tough. We did a lot of cutting. Recall, or let me remind you that these are recommended reductions. Uh, you will have a handout before you leave today showing everything I show on here, which will be basically the general fund, plus you'll get the other funds, which we did not cut because those are dedicated monies. This is a summary sheet. I'm not going to go over everything. And since I don't have a laser pointer, I'll walk out here. <laughs> That's the second time someone mentioned that today. Uh, <laughs> the first side, well, first of all, notice contingency. That's we've set that at five percent the last five six years that we've done this. Uh, just as that that cushion at the bottom, if we go over someplace, we have contingency there. We had to reduce it to three percent to help us budget meet or balance the budget this year. Bottom figure, total, and this is the balanced budget, 1.6 for total budget expenditures, total revenue, 1661, we're in the green, $5,200. Okay. In uh, the, the other funds, uh, as you can see, the water and sewer is doing well. Sanitation, 550 and a whole, but since these are together, it covers, we're 303, 303,000. To the positive, but this money cannot go there. And then capital funds were fine there. We we're taking out of the MFT, motor fuel tax, 117000 not out of the savings from up here, but out of the motor fuel tax money that we've had set aside. It's dedicated for that purpose to reach the $212,500 for expenditures we plan this year. So that's the summary sheet. I want to show you some of the things we went through. Um, first of the pages, and I'm not going to read it all, and once again, you will have a hard copy. The first two pages are estimated revenues for the general fund. So that's why the numbers match on the requested budget and the draft budget. The key point about this is in the red at the bottom, these figures are estimates, not guarantees. We have no idea what the state's going to pay us or not pay us next year. So a lot of those numbers could change. And if they're going to change at all, my guess it would be the negative. Fortunately, through the Finance Committee, the Mayor, and everyone else over the past few years, we've maintained a balance, a positive balance, in what I call our savings account. We're at about $1.2 million there, which is what we aim for uh, in the Finance Committee. And that's probably good if we were to get no money, no revenue at all, we'd probably be good for six, seven, eight months at the max for operating. That is good news, and we need to keep it that way. Okay, next one. Once again, this is a, uh, all right, these are expenditures. And when you get the sheet, you'll see they have a requested budget and a draft budget. The draft is the money that we are suggesting becomes our budget figure. Uh, some of the things cannot be changed, but if you go down to the uh, note on the right, when you get these sheets, if you see a blank, for example, if you look at 01, 11, 543, 200, train clerk, or actually the one right below that, I should say publications clerk, they asked for $135 of the blank out to the right, which means that money was totally cut. It zeroed out. The high first highlighted one, maintenance supplies building, $150 requested we cut it to $100. We've cut small, 
you look at the next one, from 6,000 to 4,500, we cut middle. And the next one, 5,600 down to 25, we cut a lot out of those budgets. And we went through this, oh, probably four or five times. Uh, Linda went home one night, worked out, and I worked out at home, walked back to Kelly, and she'd say, you can't do that, but we can do this. <laughs> down the orange and the bottom, you'll see that some figures did not change at all. That's because they're either contracts or even periodicals are things that we have to have for particular operations within the village. Uh, software programs, that's a contract. So if you see a figure for the most part that says the same number in the requested budget and the draft budget, there will be solid reasoning for not changing it. Once you have these documents, if you have any questions, you can either call me or Kelly and we can give you more particulars. Then you have a number of pages of cuts. And I'm certainly not going to spend a lot of time going through them all. You, as I said, you'll be able to see them. Jerry and 
Kelly and you for all the hard work in this very challenging operation here. I just wish our state and federal governments would have the same approach. Thank you. So I don't know if there's any, uh, I know it's a lot to read. Um, we still have plenty of time to work on this, so I think the main thing is please ask any preliminary questions that you have now, but I think you're gonna have to go home, read this, and, and digest it. Um, and uh, like Jerry said, we're happy to answer any questions, and uh, depending on the feedback, if we need to have another committee of the whole session, at the next meeting to further discuss this, which that's fine. We can certainly do that. We have plenty of time. Um, there is a couple very minor things that Kelly and I are still reviewing. I mean, in the scope of the budget, they're minor, but they're still items that aren't finalized. It has to do with technology. Um, for example, um, uh, you may recall we talked about getting smart tablets. Um, we did leave two in the budget. We had budgeted for three and a new camera. The new camera's gone. Um, we went down from three to two on the tablets. One is for our new public work supervisor, which I think is going to be a very important tool uh, in him allowing him to do what he needs to do on the go. The other is for Trustee Dieronowski um, to do a, a several things, oversee our media control, with our Facebook page and any other other things that we expand to. And also, we're gonna start doing some experimentation, if you will, with putting the actual board packets on the tablet. And so I felt that was important that in, it's really the way to go in the future that we start that. We had to have that in the blasters budget and kick the entire thing out, so I didn't wanna kick it to the curb again. Um, so that's, an example. So one last thing on top. Kelly, can you remind the board of the legal steps that are still left for us to do in order to approve the budget? Well, after we have all the final figures back, the little tweaks that I would present to the board as an agenda item for discussion only at a board meeting. From that, then we would schedule the appropriation hearing and I need to publish a notice in the paper meeting cannot take place no sooner than 10 days, so we have to look at the calendar that way. We're still looking that we still have four meetings left before May 1st. We have plenty of time. Um, at the appropriation hearing later that night at the board meeting, we are allowed to approve the appropriation ordinance, the budget, the estimated of, estimate of revenue. So if everyone can review the packets that we put together, come back to us with any feedback, Hopefully by the next board meeting we will know, okay, this night we'll have this, this night we'll have that. I kind of I kind of can forecast seeing the second meeting of March being that draft in the packet so everyone has it. And then moving to the first meeting in April, that would give us probably enough time date-wise to get the public hearing notice out. And if it can't make it that first meeting in April, we can still the yeah, second yeah. Of April. we really want to target the first meeting yes. in April. Yeah, that's I'd like that to be the goal. And so, and talking about going back to the tablets, um, what we realized is that opened up some other issues as far as data usage that goes along with that. We hadn't taken that into account, so we're reviewing our data usage plans. And then that, along with our new public works supervisor, who has asked some very good questions and has some good suggestions, is talking about um, Wi-Fi access for next door and other options there as well. So um, Kelly just started reviewing uh, some of that and discussing some of the options with me. So now we know enough to be dangerous, and we were going to pick John's brain tonight. So. <laughs> So it's little tweakings like that. So um, also as you review the budget, don't just look at the cuts, but we also really need to think about things like that. It's very easy to take something away and not realize the impact it has on something else, or to leave something in the budget 
and, and not realize that there's an additional cost that comes along with that. So that's how tight we are. We really want to know everything. And I gave this message last year, it will be more true this year, is that once we approve a budget, doesn't mean that everything has a green light. We're going to have to monitor and pay attention as things go and as things come out of Springfield or fail to come out of Springfield. Another thing I, I failed to mention is that we all need to join in keeping our ears open for any sort of revenue enhancement that we can bring to the village. Yes. I guess no idea is too small. Right, absolutely. And of course we have some projects well underway with our planner and so we do hope to make some good things happen. Any other comments or questions before we move on? Okay. Uh, wetlands, open spaces, and woodlands. Georgina. Uh, yes, the uh, Native Restoration Services continues to clear areas of um, invasive species. And um, Linda and I met with Dave Coulter and Ryan Stanley Native Restoration Services, and um, it's really important that the um, line item that's uh, stormwater detention that we watch to make sure that the drainage that goes through the various um, ponds and open space stay clear so we don't have any flooding. But I'm proud to say that. Um, we sat down and cut the budget at that meeting from nearly 69000 to 23000 so that we would, the village would be able to manage it. We we'll just have to put things off for other years. Yes, serious cuts. Okay, community relations, Trustee John Derenaski. So our YouTube page actually had a weird uptick. Um, we which is it's an insignificant amount, but um, we actually went up to about 30 views on the last village board meeting, which is a huge upswing for, for us. It's, it's up about 600% because we usually get like two or three <laughs> people. Uh, so it's, it was a very big upswing. So I mean, that means that people are actually starting to watch it in greater numbers, or maybe they're starting and they're going back to it. But either way, I think it's, Maybe it has something to do with the last meeting being very short. But I was I was very pleased with that. I I got it up the same night of the board meeting and it went the like gangbusters for some reason. I don't know why. I'm sure the budget this this time will be everybody glued to their screens. Um, but uh, yeah, and I'm continuing to work on the Facebook page before we actually make it live so that it can be nice and pretty and we can post all the things on there. Do we have a targeted launch date? Um, probably another week or two, just to okay. make sure it's all. And I want to get the recording from your... Oh, your, the radio show. Yes. The radio show. Okay. Our yes, so I can get that to you. That'd be great. Okay, we'll do. Um, um, but yeah. yeah. Um, you know, I just, not to jump in, but I want to make an announcement that's tied. You just reminded me. Um, we, all, we have our wonderful volunteer videographer, Dave Chris, and um, what we need is we need a backup videographer because Dave is entitled uh, day off now and then, or if he's not feeling well. Um, in the past, we used to have George Duberstein as our backup, but now he's on the board, so he can't be here and there at the same time. Can't split the baby in half. <laughs> so we're looking for volunteers. <laughs> so uh, all you residents out in YouTube land, if you'd like to volunteer to be a backup videographer, contact us at the Hainesville Village Hall. <laughs> you can email us, call us. They give you free cake. Yeah. No, 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 no cake. <laughs> yeah. All right, sorry, John. I just wanted to make sure we got that announcement. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, and, and that was it. I'm just I'm very excited. I was super excited to look at the statistics, and I was like, 
Yes. Well, I'm excited for the Facebook page yes. to come out. Very excited. I've been talking it up, so. Yeah. Okay. Okay, then we'll move on to Public Works, Trustee George Duberstein. Uh, the only thing I've got tonight is just to mention that we continue to make some progress on the preparation for our gala event in September, the Civil War reenactment. Uh, I've had some contact with uh, Steve Fratt again, who's the chairman of the Federal Forces. Well, not the chairman, it's the Colonel Joy. Uh, and he and his staff and I and the uh, director at the sports club get together on the 10th of May. March. To, uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, thank you. The 10th of March to. Uh, we need a calendar up here. Apparently. Yeah, right. Golf George in there. To go over some of the details and map out some of the areas and so forth. I guess I, I want to have not only to want them to know what they're doing, but I want uh, a map and so forth that we get there everybody at the event so they know what's going on, where to go, and so forth. Um, I've contacted uh, our shuttle bus people. I got some quotes from them. Of course, we'll need some of that for the show in between the parking areas and the venue. Um, so we continue in March. Okay. All right. So at this time, we take public comments. Do I have any taker this time around? No. Motion for adjournment. So moved. Second. Second. All in favor? 